Hello, fifth graders. We are ready to start our city color wheel. Remember all of the practice that we've been working on, making 3D forms and using a vanishing point. Think back to when we learned how to shade in a gradient and create value. Now we're going to put it all together. If you've ever been in a city before, a city with a lot of buildings, you'll know that when you look up, the top of the building looks really small. This new perspective that you have is called a worm's eye view. The tops of the buildings are far away and that's why they appear much smaller. You'll start the project by finding a piece of paper that's large enough for a dinner plate. Trace that dinner plate and make a dot in the center of the circle. Then you'll use your ruler to line up two lines that go to this vanishing point. This is your first building. Now we're going to add many more. Please feel free to pause the video if you feel like you need to catch up. I create buildings that continue to connect to the vanishing point, only I get to decide how tall I want them to be. Notice that I'm not drawing the line all the way to the vanishing point, but stopping short so that I can stagger the height of each of my buildings. I can leave space in between my buildings as well and I can add things like trees or signs. Try to shoot for having about 12 buildings total in your entire circle. This is tough stuff, so draw lightly and don't be afraid to contact me if you need help or advice. If you've left spaces in between your buildings, consider adding trees or bushes or signs. I've even had students create a food cart in between their buildings. Next, decide what architectural features your buildings are going to have, including doors and windows. Pause here if you'd like. This first building is going to be made of glass, so it's going to be full of windows. I'm making a series of lines that all connect to the vanishing point, and then I turn my ruler and make the illusion that my windows are getting smaller as they go up. All of these lines are parallel and horizontal, and they help create my worm's eye view perspective. The taller my building gets, the smaller the window looks. Now I'm going to just do a traditional window. It's pretty big for this building, but you'll see that my vertical lines technically go diagonally towards the vanishing point, and I continue to use that vanishing point in the sky as a guide for almost everything I draw. Now start adding your own creative features, including windows and doors, and make sure your windows get smaller as they go up your building. Then use a black pen to outline and share a photo of your work with me on Seesaw. These are some examples of previous fifth graders. 
If you're really wanting to color, you can color the sky, but only the sky. Then gather your coloring tools for next week, and I'll see you here next Thursday.